focus on your breath. Just be with the breath as it comes in, as it goes out. And the next time it comes in and goes out, remind yourself to stay with the breath. Try to get sensitive to how the breath feels. What does a long breath feel like? What does a short breath feel like? Which feels better? Experiment. You can try experimenting with deep or shallow breathing, fast or slow breathing, heavy or light. There's lots of different breaths to experiment with. Try to sensitize yourself to this part of your awareness. It's an area that we tend to block out, but it has lots of potential. So take some time to explore that potential. And as for where it's going to take you, or how long it's going to take, just put those questions aside. And old images of farmers, they plant the seed and you can't be in too great a hurry for the seed to sprout and grow. You know it's going to take time. So you do what you can, you tend to it in the meantime. That's what mindfulness and alertness are about. Mindfulness is to keep reminding you to stay here. Alertness is to watch and see what's going on. Then you make little adjustments as you go. You find any ways of breathing that are uncomfortable or either make you too sleepy or too edgy, well, you just drop those. And you look after the kinds of breathing that are helpful. Don't be too quick to throw everything away. We hear about the path as being a path of letting go, but there's also a path of developing. And developing requires some appreciation of the little things you get along the path giving them space to grow. That's what respect for concentration is all about. You're not in too great a hurry to go on to the next stage or the next stage. You tend to what you've got. Look after what you've got, and that will have a chance to grow. classic instructions on breath awareness, breath mindfulness, have sixteen steps. And we think, wow, sixteen, I better get going. Well, the Buddha divides them up into four sets of four. And each set, he says, can provide a basis for awakening. Just the first four, being sensitive to long breathing and short breathing. And then, as he says, being aware of the whole body as you breathe in, as you breathe out. It's best to wait until you get the breath really comfortable. Then think whole body breathing in, whole body breathing out. And then allow the breath to calm down. Whatever ways you will the breath, just allow them to be set aside. Try to be sensitive to what really feels good right now. And where any places where you're creating too much stress or strain in the breathing process. Allow it to relax. Just seeing that much is enough to develop some of the factors of awakening. You've got mindfulness, and then there's what's called analysis of qualities, seeing what's skillful and unskillful. You can see that right in how you relate to the breathing. When you see that, then it gives rise to a sense of rapture that's based on developing the skillful breaths or the skillful attitudes and letting go of the unskillful ones. And from there you go to serenity, concentration, equanimity, all the factors of awakening. You can build them right here just on these four little steps. So appreciate these things. It's not much, but it has a lot of potential.
if you pay attention, if you learn how to appreciate it. Don't be in too great a hurry to push through the steps, because some, some of them take time. It's like seeing little tiny fruits on your tree. Say, ah, the fruits are here, so you pick them all. It turns out they're not ripe yet. So you end up with nothing to eat, and you've also prevented yourself from getting something good, because you're in too great a hurry. So notice what's comfortable in the present moment, what's uncomfortable, and tend to the comfortable sensations. Those are going to be your friends. Those can act as a foundation for the larger things you want to build, the larger things you want to develop. It's like that image in the canon of the foolish, inexperienced cow. It's standing in a in a meadow on this hill. It's got water and grass. It looks over to another hill and sees water and grass on that hill and says, gee, I wonder what that water and grass is like over there. And because it's foolish and inexperienced, it goes down in the ravine between the hills and it gets stuck. And then it can't get back even to the first meadow, much less go to the second. Now the experienced cow knows if you stay right here in this meadow, the grass will grow. The water is clear. It's got you've got everything you need right here. So stay right here, and it'll develop. After all, the Buddha was right here when he began to waking, right here at his breath. Simply, he had been training his mind to be very observant. observe things, but if you don't act on them, you never learn whether your observations are right or not. And that's what he done. He observed things and then he put them to the test. Is what I observed really right? And he saw what was right, saw what was wrong, seeing what worked by putting it into practice. And again, it was this little area right here where the mind is right at the breath. He learned to be very observant here, and part of it was learning to stay with it. When the Buddha talks about concentration, it's always a matter of getting the mind to settle down and then allowing it to indulge in whatever sense of ease there is there. Not to forget the topic of concentration, but just to learn how to maintain it, stick with it. If you think of it as medicine, it's a cream you put on your skin. The cream has to stay there for long periods of time if it's going to heal your itch. And when you learn how to stay with it, you learn how to watch it. It's like walking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on one little path. You get to know it really well. You give it a chance to show what it has to offer. So it may not seem like much, just the breath coming in, the breath going out. But you can develop a lot of good qualities of mind just staying with this in and out breath, getting sensitive to it, and then training yourself to be aware of the whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out training yourself to allow the breath sensations to calm down. Any intentional part of the breath, allow that to calm down. Just allow the breath on its own to come in, go out, wherever it's going to come in, wherever it's going to go out, in whatever way feels good. That can be a foundation for all kinds of good things. So don't trash your foundation. You don't build a rickety foundation and say, okay, what's next? You want to build a good, solid foundation and stay there. Unfortunately, it's not like a house. You've built a foundation and you've got to find a lot of other stuff to put on top of it. This kind of foundation is more organic. It grows if you give it a chance. So 
show some respect for concentration. And that's the only way you can learn what it has to offer. <laughs>